Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a cream contour and highlight video. You guys have been asking for this video as well. So I just wanted to record it um, and show you my tips to cream and contour. Just because I do have a different shape of face and I wanted to show you. Here I'm just going to start doing a little bit of foundation. I did do a foundation routine so I will leave it down below. So I just apply a little bit of my favorite foundation. Just to add a base and to add a little bit more coverage just because I do love a little bit more coverage when I cream contour and then I'm going to be going into this cream contour uh, this is not a contour cream this is a concealer by LA girl pro concealer which is the infamous concealer it's been everywhere and this is an oval brush by Kenya beauty I will leave it down below and I'm just gonna be placing that where I normally contour my face which is uh, my cheekbones uh, the sides of my forehead and my other side as well and I try to blend it a little bit upwards uh, with this brush and I will be placing it a little bit on my cuticle and my chin area and my nose I don't normally contour my nose because I do have a big nose and if I contour it just brings more attention to it but just for the sake of the video I will do it and then I'm going to be spraying a vitamin mist. Uh, this is like a facial spray. Uh, and I'm going to be spraying it onto a stippling brush. It's a small stippling brush. This is by Wet n Wild. I did buy it at Walmart. And I'm going to be using that to blend my contour. When you blend your contour, you do want to blend upwards. I know if you guys noticed that I did not apply my highlight shade. Just because I do like to apply my contour shade first and then blend it out. And then I will go in and add my highlight shades just so it won't get um, mixed together and muddy on my skin. And I'm just going to be blending this contour out just in circular motions. And I'm going to be blending it upwards and inwards on my forehead just so it can have like a more seamless blend. Uh, and then just take your time while blending your contour. Then I'm going to be grabbing that same oval brush and blend my nose a little bit. It's going to be looking a little bit harsh at the beginning. But I promise once you go in and add the lighter shades it will all come together i'm just gonna be blending a little bit just to take off all that excess concealer i don't need this is the part where i go into highlighting my face these are my favorite concealers at the moment this is the wet and wild photo focus concealer and the maybelline fit me concealer i do apply um the maybelline first i'm gonna be just be applying it under my eyes and the sides of my nose to clean up that contour and i'm gonna be doing this to both sides and I'm going to be applying a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my chin area. I love this concealer because it's not as thick and full coverage as uh, a lot of people like them to be. But I like this because I do have very dry under eye areas and this does hydrate my under eye. Then on top of the Maybelline, I will be applying the Wet n Wild. I like the Wet n Wild one because it does have a little bit more coverage. But if I just wear it alone, it is a little bit drying on my face. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm um, just going to be applying it the same place I did apply the Maybelline Concealer. Then I'm going to be going back into an oval brush. It's uh, the same brand by Kenya Beauty, just in a larger size. I will leave the brushes down below. And I'm going to be using this brush um, to blend my concealer. I'm just going to be dabbing it all around my under eye area. I'm not going to be swiping because once you swipe, you will lift your foundation and your concealer. So it's not going to have uh, as much coverage and your skin will peek through. So I do recommend to dab it or to pounce it into the skin. That's the best way to uh, blend out concealer. Because obviously you don't want to tug on your under eye skin because that is uh, a part of the face that's very sensitive and you do want to prevent wrinkles. Then I'm going to be going back into that same sponge that I apply my foundation and just blend the concealer into the contour shade just so there won't be a line of demarcation and um, for it won't show that you do have like 20,000 million shades on your face. This is where I apply the cream highlight under my eye area. I like to apply cream highlights on top of a base like my concealer just because I do have very oily skin. And if I just go directly into the cream, uh, my oils will move the cream and it won't stick. 
so this is what's going to be bringing back the light to my face i could have gotten a little bit lighter uh on my cream contour but um if i do go lighter it's going to start going uh, look ashy on my skin so this shade will work for now I just be applying it where I want to highlight so I'm gonna be applying the cream color directly under my eye just like the top parts of my cheekbones my nose my nose area and my chin and then I'm gonna be going back into that sponge and I'm gonna wet it with the setting spray and I'm gonna be blending it out you do want to wet um, your sponge with something setting spray or oils because cream can be a little bit difficult to blend out so putting a little bit of setting spray six plus doesn't matter uh, or oils you could use the hydrating oil by um, Mr. Beverly Hills and blend it out or just make your work easier and you won't have to be there blending a cream this is where I add my shade this is like my skin tone so I'm just going to be using this shade just to clean up my contour area. This is the same color as my skin tone, so it's not going to highlight or anything. This is just going to clean up the contour just because I don't want uh, a white shade under my cheekbones or else it start looking ashy on me as well. And the brush that I'm using, it's a Biro Techniques as well. And then again, I will be going into that sponge and blending it into the contour. This video is pretty much all about blending the creams and the foundations together just so you will have a seamless line. This is where I go and set everything. I'm going to be grabbing this uh, CoverGirl setting powder. You guys already know about it. It's the loose translucent powder but it does have a little bit of color. This is the medium shade in 115 and I'm just going to be applying it under my eyes to set that cream concealer or whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, and I am using a powder puff. So normally where you highlight, um, you do want to set with a translucent powder. And this is where I'm going to be going into my bronzer. You guys do know that I like using face powders as bronzers. Because if I do use a bronzer during the day, the bronzer does disappear on my skin due to my oils. So using a thicker powder will last longer on my face. And I'm just going to be using a tiny bit of powder just because I did use a cream contour. So it is a little bit more pronounced. So I'm just going to dust it around where I bronze my skin with the cream. Just to set it in place and it won't move around. I am using a Morphe brush. I will leave it down below if you guys are interested. And I'm just going to be setting up around. Um, if you guys did notice that I did not apply contour to my chin area or my jawline. Just because uh, I do have a fatter face and it does kind of look a little bit muddy on me. So I'm going to be going back, not back, but into this Kat Von D palette and grabbing those two shades I'm putting in it. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit more depth to my cheekbones. As you guys could tell, I'm just dabbing it into the cheekbone and then uh, dusting off the excess powder and then blending it out. This is just going to add a little bit more depth and dimension to the hollows of your cheeks. If you guys uh, know, I am a thicker girl, so I do have to um, mimic or give myself cheekbones just because I do have a fatter face and my cheeks to get lost. So here I'm just going to be applying a little bit of Cody Airspun to clean up my contour. I only like using Cody Airspun on my face. I don't use it under my eye area just because I do have very dry under eyes and it does look very cakey. Then I'm going to be working back into that Kat Von D palette and I'm going to be grabbing the middle shade that is pretty much gone which is um, Lyric I believe. And I'm going to be applying this under my eyes to highlight. This is going to be adding more brightness to your skin. And it's going to be making your skin look a little bit more brighter and more smoother. When applying brightening powders under the eye, you do want to apply them very softly with a light hand. Just because they do have a little bit more pigment than actual translucent powder. Uh, so you don't want like a full white cast under your eye. So I do recommend applying it very softly with a pointed uh, brush. I am using a synthetic brush, but you could use a natural hair brush if you like. Now this is my favorite part of um, highlighting contouring is highlighting my skin. This is gonna lift up your cheekbones and make you look like you have higher cheekbones. So I'm using a highlighter by Wet n Wild called uh, Mega Glow in the shade Precious Petals and I'm using a Morphe M501 to apply it. I'm just applying it to the corners of the tops of my cheekbones like near where my eye angles 
Uh, that's the best uh, part. I like to apply it because if I bring it down, I do have large pores because I am a guy. And I don't want to emphasize those pores. And just because I'm a little bit extra, I'm going to be going to adding a little bit more highlighter. This is by LA Girl Cosmetics. This is the strobing powder by and I forgot what they're called but I will leave it down below this is in the shade 100 watts so I'm just going to be applying it on top these highlights are a little bit more glittery which I don't mind glitter so I'm just going to be applying it on top of that wet and white glitter just to add a little bit more pop and more lift to my face just so it will look a little bit more like I got freaking surgery or something now I'm going to be doing something I never do is apply blush I'm going to be playing this blush by BH Cosmetics. This is a blush palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to be blending it into the bronzer and the highlight. Just because you don't want uh, lines or demarcations that you applied uh, three colors to your cheekbones. So I'm just going to be blending that into there. And I'm using a Real Techniques um, blush, blush brush. Gosh, that's are so hard. Now to blend everything uh, together and make it seem like I just have no lines of demarcation. I'm going to grab the powder that's the color of my skin tone. A little bit, not a lot because you did apply powders before. Just to blend everything together and make it look um, seamless. You do want to have harsh lines. As obviously I'm just using a big uh, powder brush by Real Techniques. So this is what my face looks like uh, after the cream contour and highlight. If you guys could tell everything is a little bit more pronounced uh, than usual when I just use powder. It's a little bit more sharper and more cleaner. Um, this is what I look. I just did my eyes off camera and then I'm going to be spraying a setting spray just to melt all the powders into my skin and make it look like skin and not look cakey. I'm just going to be bouncing my beauty blender all over my face just to uh, make all that setting spray go into my skin and I won't get those dots undried on my skin because they look nasty. Well guys, this is the final tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy watching this uh, cream contour and highlight. If you guys did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and like this video. And leave me comments down below on what videos we'd like to see next. Also, other products used and mentioned during this video will be down in my description box. Also, it's on my social media so you guys can follow me there. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!